Watch how easy it is to import your contacts. Log in to callonthego.com from a computer. Then go to import contacts here. Now you're going to want to name your campaign or list something descriptive. In this case, I'm going to say August Leads 999. And then make sure you hit enter, just like the directions say. And go, whoops, go ahead next. Now choose a file that you want to import. So it could be any type of spreadsheet. Doesn't matter what kind it is, a .csv, .xls, .xlsx. If you don't know what these extensions mean, don't worry about it. Our, uh, our software is smart enough to just do all the work and thinking for you. So, okay, um, we've selected our huge spreadsheet that we want to import. Now, it's trying to figure out which columns because this particular spreadsheet has lots and lots of columns. Look at this. I mean, it's huge. It has all this crazy data in here. Um, so what you're going to want to do, you know, for a phone call, I could care less what uh, the SIC code is. You know, I'm just trying to make phone calls to leads or prospects or, you know, customers. So um, for me personally, um, in, the, in the business that I'm in, I just want to know their first and last name. I like to know, I mean, the number is required, obviously. Um, let's see. The company column, let's just go ahead and put their address in our company field. And so I'm going to make that blank. And I'm going to change the notes field to... Um, this one. So notice we have five different columns that we import to call on the go. And you I mean, just because we call it we call each column, you know, some sort of name like first name or notes column, you could put anything in there. So um, you know, our first name column, um you could you could switch that over to know something else um, whatever is appropriate for the type of sales that you're doing okay let's just go ahead and finish all right you get a dialog that says uh, you're successful and that's it so if you go to contacts Notice it's not there yet because you need to refresh a browser. Okay, here we go. Now, when you're making calls through the app on your phone, the name will display. Okay, so if it's if you're a real estate agent. You might want to put, you might want to cram the first and last name inside the first name column. And then you could actually put the address in the last name column. So as a real estate agent, if you're making calls, you're going to see the name and the address, um, you know, that that prospect or lead is interested in. The phone number column is required, of course. And you know, this is just like a spreadsheet. You can make changes really easy. Um, so, yeah. Uh, there's that. If there's any questions, please let us know. Thanks.